Hello and welcome to court. Today I will be drafting patterns and constructing coats that are inspired by the recent United States inauguration. All three coats have a bit of a 50s flair to them, but the best part of this project is that the fabric was gifted to us by two very generous courtiers, Christian and Gia. Please enjoy. I wanted to feature a classic trench coat based off this reference photo for myself. For the baby, I went with a boxier look based off of this photo. And for Muse, I had to go with a look based off of the new look by Dior, as featured in this photo. When I'm planning out looks, I like to create swatches to see how the fabric works together. I also use the swatches to do a wash and dye test when needed. The reference photos aren't the clearest, so for Muse's coat I went with a U-shaped collar, rather standard bodice and sleeves, and a 3 4 circle skirt with a slit up the front that will serve as an opening for the coat. For the baby I kept it pretty standard and simple. Originally I planned to line the hood in fleece to match Muse's coat but changed my mind and went with a bridal satin to best protect his hair. That lining will be pictured later. My coat ended up being the most challenging to draft and piece together. I didn't want to be washed out in all black. In order to combat this, I lined my coat in a red satin and added patterned fabric to the inside collar of my coat. Heavyweight interfacing was also added to give both collar pieces more structure. I love this particular trick for any material that is slick or stretchy. Take some tissue paper and sew the tissue paper with your fabric. The slight structure of the tissue paper will keep your fabric in place and help prevent stretching or sliding. Rip away the tissue paper after sewing. Actually, you do you. I'm not here to tell you how to create.
Here's the hood lining for the baby's coat that I mentioned earlier. This bridal satin will keep his curls protected and the outer layer of fleece will maintain warmth. Y'all know I am not a fan of hand sewing. This project had a ton of buttons. If I could have gotten away with zippers, I 100% would have. These coats were extremely warm. I really enjoyed seeing the final looks come together. We felt like a cohesive unit rather than matching exactly. If you're still bored in the house and you're in the house bored and like this type of content, subscribe to become a part of Court. And while we're talking about our courtiers, thank you again to Christian and Gia for providing a majority of the fabric used in this video. Give us a like and tap that bell icon for notifications so you can be up to date with everything going on in court. Until next time, goodbye!